Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. In this video, we are going to write a C program to print all Armstrong numbers between 1 to 999. So before we proceed to the program, let us try to understand what do you mean by Armstrong number. It is a sum of cube of each digit of a number is called Armstrong number. Here, for example, I am going to write 153. If I separate each digit 153 and make the cubes of each of these three digits, and if I add all these three digits together, once again I am going to get the same number that is 153 only. So, one cube gives me 1 plus 5 cube. 5 is to be multiplied thrice. So, 5 into 5 is 25 25 fives are 125 plus cube of 3 that gives us 3 threes are 9 9 threes are 27 so after adding i am going to get once again 153 only so such numbers are called armstrong numbers so let us write a c program for the same so here i'm going to begin with the preprocessor directives hash include in a angular brace, I'm going to write standard input output dot h header file. And the next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular brace console input output dot h header file. Now we are going to write main function. I'll write wide main curly open brace. And here in a declaration section, I'm going to declare all the necessary variables which are to be used in the program. So I'm going to define a data type called int. Then I'll take one variable called i. Next, n. I'll take one more variable called digit. And now I'm going to take sum and put semicolon. So now let us uh, print the Armstrong numbers between 1 to 999. So, in a printf statement, I'm going to write in a double quotation mark Armstrong numbers between 1 to 999 are. Here, I'll write backward slash n end the double quotation mark and put semicolon now we are going to use for loop so i'm going to write here i is equal to 1 we put semicolon i is less than or equal to 999 why because in the question we have given we have to find out how many strong numbers are present in between 1 to 999 so that's the reason i is equal to 1 i is less than or equal to 999 and we have to check each and every number so that's the reason we are going to write i plus plus now early open brace and here i'm going to equate this value of i to the variable called n so here i'm going to write n is equal to i so i value is equated to n now i'm going to uh, initialize this variable sum is equal to zero i'll write here sum is equal to zero now we are going to check out the condition in a while loop while n is not equal to 0. So whenever n is not equal to 0, it has to iterate through certain set of statements. Here I am going to use curly open brace. Now I am going to use this variable called digit in order to take out a single digit from the right hand side. So digit is equal to value of n modular division by 10 so this always returns us the remainder now i'm going to write sum is equal to sum plus digit into digit into digit why because we have to multiply each and every digit three times because it is the sum of cube of each digit of a number so that's the reason we have to write three uh, times the digit into digit into digit 
now i'm going to write n is equal to n integer division by 10 so this always gives us the quotient and then curly closing brace for this while iteration so these three set of statements will get executed repeatedly till n is not equal to 0 once it is equal to 0 control comes out of this while looping construct and it is going to check out the condition so here i'm going to write if i double equal to means what it is going to compare these two values if i is equal to some if this is true then we have to print the armstrong number i'm going to write here print f in a double quotation mark i'm going to write the format specifier percentage d that represent integer number and the double quotation mark put comma and then i want to print i value and put semicolon curly closing brace for this if and now i'm going to write get ch function and curly closing brace for this main function so here i'm going to write curly closing brace now let us look at the program output so we will see the flow of the program so once we compile and run this program it will start executing from the main function and it is going to print armstrong numbers between 1 to 999 r and then it starts iterating using this for loop for i is equal to 1 and i is less than or equal to 999 so here 1 is less than or equal to 999 so hence it is true so that's the reason control enters into the body of this for loop now i value is 1 and it is equated to the variable n now sum is set to 0 while n is not equal to 0 here n value is what it is 1 because i value is 1 1 is not equal to 0 it is true once it is true control enters into this body of while loop and it is going to execute these three statements so what it does is so it is going to calculate digit is equal to so n value is what here n value is 1 modular division by 10 so whenever we write one modular division by 10 this modular division always returns us the remainder as per the basic mathematical rule when the numerator is less than denominator then the numerator acting as a remainder and quotient becomes zero so here one is less than 10 that's the reason one is treated as the remainder and quotient will become zero now we'll go for the second instruction sum is equal to sum plus so here i'm going to write sum is equal to for the first time sum value is equated to what zero so here i'm going to write zero plus digit into digit into digit what is digit value one so that is one into one into one third statement is n is equal to n is one divided by n that is integer division so this always returns us the quotient that is zero so this completes the first iteration so once again control transfers to this while looping construct now n value is what zero zero is not equal to zero no condition is false once the condition fails the control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to execute the next statement so it is going to check out if i is equal to sum so here i value is what i value is for the first time it was one and sum is what sum is also one so what it is going to give zero plus one into one into one one one's a one one one's a one one plus zero is one so here sum is one and i is also one so hence it is true once it is true it is going to print the ith value so that is one is what armstrong number so it is going to print one as armstrong number so once this completes again control transfers to the outer for loop actually one more closing brace will come here for this for loop you can close this before uh, get ch control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 2 is equated to what n now n value is 2 while n not equal to 0 that is 2 is not equal to 0 condition is true so we are going to perform this particular operation so here i'll write digit is equal to n value is 2 modular division by 10 so this gives me the remainder 2 only 
will write sum is equal to once again sum is set to zero so here i'm going to write zero plus digit into digit into digit so that is two into two into two is equal to eight eight plus zero that gives me eight only now sum is eight n is equal to n value is what two integer division by 10 that gives me quotient zero so once again control transfers to this while loop and it is going to check out so zero is not equal to zero yes it is false then control comes out of this looping construct and it is going to check out this condition now i value is what i value is two here we are going to check out condition if i value is what two is equal to sum sum is what eight so which is returning false value if this is false then it is not going to print this particular statement so control directly comes out of this selection statement and once again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 and it will become 3 and so on so it is going to iterate through all these numbers from 1 to 999 and it is going to print only the armstrong number so let us execute this particular program and check out how many Armstrong numbers are present in between the range of 1 to 999. So for that, I will take you to my laptop screen. Here you can see I have already written this program to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. So it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. Let us execute this program by pressing Control F9. Here you can see it is showing Armstrong numbers between 1 to 999 are 1, 153, 370, 371, 407. I hope you understood this program. If so, please write down in the comment box as understood. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will see you in the next video.